I want to start by saying Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharasha, Brakatha Yahawu, Brakatha Yaharasha, Kohala Yahawa Ba Shem Yarasha, Kohala Yahawa Ba Shem Yarasha, Ba Shem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that told me this doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the elect. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahawu, which means he is or he exists. Ba Shem in the name of his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We know his name to be Yahawa Shai, which means he is the deliverer, he is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites. From the pedigree of your father, by Hashem, in the name of the Rakak Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit, that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. If you're so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, or of the speckled bird, looking like the other nations, and your spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahab, by Hashem, and Rashai, then you could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off following after false gods and false idols, not following the law, such commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of those offenses, we were sent to captivity. But to our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, He's been given all power to be able to sit on the right hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the very understanding to the elect, the remnant, the one that would be quickened with the Holy Spirit, to be able to come back to the Lord by repenting and feeling sorrowful for the things that they have done. And they would be able to have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to be able to know there's going to be troubling times. There's going to be a time of what Jacob's trouble, where there's going to be a lack of, uh, you know, um, you know, food, a lack of what uh, shelter, a lack of what resources. And the Lord's coming to give all those things as far as comfort, as far as uh, su succors going into, you know, being able to have um, protection in this time. Okay, because it's going to get ugly because the elites at the top, which are the biblical Edomites, okay, the so-called white man, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburgs, the Schiffs, okay, um, these are the wicked, okay, but their their real nationality is what being a, a, a Edomite, okay, an Idumian, and they are the vessel of wrath fitted for destruction, okay, and in that destruction, okay, they're going to take a lot of people down with them, okay, but not the very elect, because the elect have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding to be able to not fall for these enchantments and these sorceries, okay, that's going on. A lot of these uh, bread and circus events, okay, because a lot of people are going to fall for the traps and the snares that these devil is coming with, the wiles of the devil. But those that take heed to the warning, okay, are going to be able to um, escape out of that, uh, you know, out of that Fowler's um, snare, okay, Fowler going into the, you know, the, the bird catcher, which is what Esau eat him. Okay, and that snare going into what taking the mark of the beast, because that's ultimately what they want. They want everybody to have a mark embedded inside their hand or their forehead so they can be able to control what they're buying and selling. So they can be able to put you in these 15 minute cities. Okay, that's why you have where it was called the New World Order, which is on the back of your dollar bill, the Novus Ordo Socorium, a one world government, a one world military, a one world religion. And that one world religion is you bowing down to the beast system, okay, and their image fall in their philosophies. Okay, and, and having that stigma embedded inside your hand or your forehead, which is something that's physical, Revelation 13 and 16, that mark. Okay, and if you take that, you will have a grievous, uh, first of all, you will have um, no rest day nor night, and you also have an ulcer or a cancer. And then in that, you will have what, um, get caught up in the lake of fire, which is those ICBM missiles. Okay, and just because someone takes it, does that mean that they're going to be able to have food, water, and shelter? No, you're dealing with the devil. You're dealing with the deceiver. Sirach 14 and 7. If he doeth good, he doeth willingly. At last, he would declare his wickedness. This is his last effort. Far as the Lord has given him power for a certain period of time. Okay, but the Lord still controls everything that goes on, whether good or evil. Okay. So let me start with this article. WEF Trump threatens to topple our new world order. Okay. And Trump is nothing but the, the, you know, the same side of the eagle. Okay, you have the, the right wing, left wing, they're both the same wing. What are they, the wing they're of that eagle? Going back to Mount Seir, going back to, uh, you know, uh, these different captivities that we're in, going back to what, um, what you see today. The eagle, you know, is, the, is um, you know, uh, symbolic or um, well, symbolic for Esau Edom, okay, in certain instances in the scriptures. But that's that eagle that they always put up. When you have Pedro Joe speaking, you have that eagle in the back. Then you have the red, white, and the blue going back to Rome. Okay, showing you that this is Rome all over again. Okay, so what are they using in that Rome tactic? They're using what bread and circus to be able to what um, 
to be able to confuse the people, but they're not going to be able to confuse the very elect. Okay. So when you read this, this is a uh, bread and circus. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get something else. So right here on the left, it says, um, Domitius, okay. Uh, Domitius, it says, give them bread and circus and they will never revolt. Yeah, so bread and circus goes into what's going on right now. You have the football leagues, okay, which which all these football leagues are all set up. They're already set up who's going to win, what's going to happen, and even that's being revealed. Okay, these, uh, you know, the Cat Williams, you know, coming up against these different comedians, that's all bread and circus because they're of the same, they're working with the same people. Okay, when I say the same eagle, the, the, the um, you know, the Democrat and the Republican are working. Let me get the scripture. They're working together to be able to push the same agenda, which ultimately is going to lead to them just being draconian. OK, because they're going to see that the people are not down with it, because what's happening is Esau Edom's being exposed for his what? For his evils. OK. And you're not supposed to put no one above above you, but your brother. OK. And especially, you know, especially these heathen nations. OK, and that's why that goes into what voting. OK, we're not supposed to be out there voting, sitting at the, you know, the ballots, you know, waiting in line to vote for Trump. That's not because our people are doing that. You know, they got the Trump shirts because they believe in, in their oppressor. OK, and what they're offering is they're offering you two people, Pedo Joe and, and um, you know, um, you know, uh, Trump and saying that these are both good people when they're both the devil. When you look at the pictures of Trump, who is he with? Epstein. You know what I'm saying? He's in those inner circles. He's doing the same thing. It's just that you have, um, they're divided at the top, okay, far as what they want to do at the top. Why? Because the Lord has put them in confusion, okay? Just like in the time of Babel, when they went to go, you know, do their thing, what happened? The the language was confounded, you know, the different language came out because everyone was just speaking Hebrew. And then when they were went to go talk, they, they weren't able to talk. That's why you have the different languages today, okay? And that's what's going on right now. Those different, uh, you know, treat or you know, treaties or contracts that they made with each other, they're starting to renege against each other. Okay, and that's creating what enemies. Okay, so this is Revelation thirteen eleven, and behold, another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spoke as a dragon. Yeah, um, so that beast is what the the, the Roman Empire, that deadly wound being, um, healed. Okay, and then what coming out of the Russia Georgia Caucasus Mountains. Okay, and what about the mid 1300s? Okay, the Renaissance era, the rebirth. Okay, and that beast is what the, um, you know, spearheaded by America and NATO was joined unto it. Okay, and these are these are what a people. These are the biblical Edomites. Okay, it says, and he had two horns like a lamb. So two is, is symbolic to the Democrat and the Republican. Okay, they're, they're painting you know Pedo Joe and Trump as good people. Okay. Those, those horns goes into power like a lamb. Yeah, so they're coming all soft. You know, we just want to help. You know, we just want to get the deport the people out of, you know, out of the country. You know, um, we're everything that one person says, the other person's against. Okay. And then they, and then you have to vote for just two people. Okay. It's all, it's all rigged. It's all bread and circus. It says, and he spoke as a dragon. Okay. And that dragon is going to what draconian measures, which is harsh punishments for, small things and for if you don't want to comply with their uh the things that they're coming down with okay then you're going to be what um put to death okay right or put in these different camps and that goes back to an athenian ruler a uh, draco okay which goes back to what the idumians okay which are who the edomites okay and they're back again okay and they're going to we start to become what draconian measures unrighteous decrees okay so those two horns again the democrat and the republican they're speaking as a lamb. Hey, you know, we like this guy. He like this guy. Right. But then they're going to come draconian. OK, because that's what this that's what these elites or these globalists, not uh, like your globalists. OK, are pushing because they own the politicians. OK, no one is elected. Actually, no one's elected. They're already selected by what these elites. OK. <laughs> So they're openly telling you that their new world order, that if Trump wins, they can be able to, um, that would mess up their new world order. But actually what's going to happen is the Lord is going to mess up their, um, and he's doing it right now because this video going out and other brothers videos going out exposing, 
uh, the different meetings that are going on because you have the Davos meetings, I believe, coming up. If it's not today or tomorrow, you know, I believe it's in January, right? So it says the WEF has admitted that the Donald Trump threatens to topple the New World Order and has called for Trump to be thwarted at all costs before he wins the 2024 election. Again, this is all bread and circus. Okay, and that's why you have the football, the you know, the LeBron James, and then you have the, the Bronny story, you know, the all this BS and people, you know, um, you know, fall in love with it. Why? Because they don't want to be in reality. They don't want to be in reality that our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming to what take down and destroy this place and take down all enemies. Okay? All enemies of the cross. According to the Klaus Schwab, right hand man, you've all known Herrera. If Trump wins twenty twenty four in New World Order is likely to complete collapse. Okay, they're already collapsing. Okay. How are they collapsing? Because they're being exposed. They're being exposed for their wicked deeds. Esau Edom is being made bare. Okay. So they're not able to do the things that they they once wanted to do. Okay, so now they have to be carnal, which that cart when they become carnal, okay, that would be considered the hour of temptation where they come in with the, you know, try to implement the mark of the beast, the time of Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 49 10, but I but I have made Esau bear, I've uncovered his secret places, he shall not be able to hide himself, his seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Okay? So Esau, who's that? That's Esau going into Edom, Genesis 36. Okay, Esau is Edom. These are the Idumians, the so-called white men, the international bankers, their secret places. They're not able to hide behind uh, their money anymore. Now they're openly coming out saying they're doing their world order. Their seed is spoiled going into their money. Their money, their petrodollar is going away and every and these different nations are starting to come with their own money. Also, they're being called out as the Edomites okay, and as the wicked. Right. So they're being made bare. They're not able to move like they they once going to move, but they're going to be able to go to a certain point. But um, there's iniquity, you know, there's a point that they can't pass, okay, because they're being exposed by what the the very prophets, the prophets that are uh, putting them on, uh, putting that inquisition to them, okay. So this is um, <clears throat> there's another scripture. Luke 12 and 2, it says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Yeah, so all their secrets are being what? Uh, revealed, okay, out in public. And then what brothers are doing is catching certain videos and being able to make it plain upon tables to filter it to the uh, the very elect, okay? And they're what they're speaking, they're telling you what they want to do, okay? They, they spoke about, you know, as far as what they did with the new, um, you know, on the dollar bill. They told you what they wanted to do back then, okay? El Plumos Unum, one of many, okay? This is Job 15 and 6. Thy own mouth condemn it. Let me see. I think it's, let me start from here. Job 15 and 5. It says, for thy mouth utter thy iniquity, and thou choosest thy tongue of thy crafty. Thy own mouth condemneth thee, and not I, yeah, thy own lips testify against thee. So their own words are what testifying against them, because that's part of their oath of their cabal as to what they have to, uh, show what they're doing. They have to show their head. Okay, but the only way you can be able to see is if the Lord Yahweh is is open your you know open your eyes to be able to see and ears to hear. Hear who the prophets and what they're saying. Okay, it's not about what everybody else is saying. Okay, because what everybody else is saying is going to go to chaff. Okay, what the true men of the Lord are saying is actually going to come true, and then you shall know that a true prophet has been among you because the true prophet is going to be speaking about. Um, these wicked elites, they're not going to be forming uh, uh, covenants or contracts with them, okay? And you see groups doing that. They know they're Israelites, they know who the, the enemy is, and then they make contracts with them. It doesn't make any, you know, it does make sense because it's prophecy, okay? But we have to, you know, be careful, um, you know, um, you know who you're dealing with and who you subscribe to, Okay. So this is Job 15 and 5. It says, your sins are telling, in the NLT, your sins are telling your mouth what to say. Your words are based on clever deception. That's right. Their words are based on clever deception, the wiles of the devil. Okay. They speak with what, um, going back to what they did in the um, the Grecian Empire. Okay. When we were, um, you know, taken over, basically. Okay. We were, you know, by the... Um, now, basically, we were taken over by the uh, Antiochus, okay? And what, what happened? What did they come with? They came with what um, nice, smooth words, and they wanted to have what, a new world order, 
right? Then they want to have a new world order, okay? And that was taken down. So many times before, this, they tried to have this new world order, different nations, okay? And it's the same things happened. It, it got destroyed. So this is uh, 1 Maccabees 1 and 30. It says, And he spoke peaceable words unto them, but all was deceit. For when they had given him credence, he fell suddenly upon the city and smote it very sore and destroyed it, much people of Israel. Yeah, and destroyed it. And the ones that they didn't destroy, what did they do? They took them and brought them to these different, you know, uh, gymnasium and these orgies and made a boy a harlot and all these different things, uh, swine's flesh in the, in the um, synagogues. So they had, our, you know, circumcised, um, you know, not being able to do our customs. Okay. And that's the same thing they're, they're, they're coming with now. They want to what try to change uh, the customs that we that the Lord has brought us back to remembrance. And in the in, in the hopeful elect, uh, you know, knowing of those customs and knowing of the mark of the beast that we're not supposed to take it. OK, even even into death. OK, because even in even in death, you're going back to Yahweh That means you stood faithful uh, for the Lord, a mortar. Right. This is John. <clears throat> so like it. First Maccabees 1 and 30, <clears throat> it says, and he spoke peaceable words unto them, but all was the seat. Yeah, so a seat, peaceable words. That isn't Trump doing that. Hey, man, you know, you know, vote for me. We're going to take, you know, you're going to have jobs. Everything's going to be good. Sunny days. No more chem You know, he's just he's just saying whatever, because they are what politicians and actually really what they are is just Edomites. They're Adumians, okay? They don't want to be out of power. You think Trump wants to be sitting in the ghetto or the vario when he's riding on jets? Okay, riding on jets, hanging out with, you know, doing whatever he wants to do. They ain't never worked. Okay, even right now, I, you know, I got to go to work in a little bit. And other brothers do too. You think they want to live that lifestyle? Okay, you think we're going to be going to work? Okay, in the kingdom? No, we're going to have slaves that are going to be going to work. We're going to be doing what we want as far as we follow Yahab Hashem Hashai. And we're going to. Why? Because we're going to be changing the twinkle of the eye in the kingdom. Okay? We're not going to have to go off. We're not going to have to look behind our back. Is Esau there? We're not going to have to worry about our children. Okay, When we drop our children off, whatever, to, to be babysit because we got to go to work. Right? We're not going to have to worry about our children. Why? Because they're Israelites. <laughs> okay? And they're going to be able to be safe. And this devil is going to be in fetters, irons, and chains. And these other nations are going to be um, you know, subject to us. They're not going to be able to do nothing either. Right, First Maccabees 1 and 30, and spoke peaceable words unto them, but all was deceit. For when they had given him credence, he fell suddenly upon the city and smote it very sore and destroyed much people of Israel. And that's the same thing they're going to do right now for those who trust in your oppressor, those that trust in those smooth words. First Maccabees 1 and 41, moreover, King Antiochus wrote to this whole kingdom that all should be one people. And that's what they want to do right now. They want you to be one people, follow our sustainable development you know, um, sustainable development, you know, rules, okay, that are going to be governed by a blockchain. And who's the blockchain at the top? Esau Edom, the elites, okay? Carl Schwab, Yuval Noah Herrera, these are nothing but cult of personalities that have put out there to push the agenda of the ones that are in the back, okay? It says 42, and everyone should leave his laws. And so the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. Yet yeah, many also of Israelites consented to this religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. Okay? And that's the same thing that's going to happen now. Okay? Many people are going to take that mark of the beast. Okay? Why? Because they're, um, the Lord's not dealing with them ultimately. The lack of wisdom. Okay? So let me go to another one. This is, um, and this is going to lead to where they want to also control what you say and what you do. And this is going to lead to the banning of the Bible also, which happened back then too. Okay, uh, first Maccabees one and fifty six, it says, and when he had it says, and when they had rent in pieces the books of the law, which they had found, they burnt them with fire and wherever was found with any book of that testament or if consented to the law, the king's commandment was that should we put him to death. Yeah. And so that's the same thing. If you have the Bible or if you believe in the Bible far as you, you know, you're following your have to the best of ability. Okay then they're going to have, you're going to be an enemy of the state. Okay. Even these, these, these so-called, you know, the wacky tacky Christians, they're going to be an enemy of the state. Why? Because, because a lot of them know what the mark of the beast is too. Okay. And right now they're openly telling you what they want to do. So again, Joel 15 and five, your sins are telling your mouth what to say. Your words are based on clever deception. Your own mouth condemns you 
not I, your own lips testify against you. So their own lips are actually what testifying against them. Okay, of what? That crafty counsel. So now they have to openly come out with their crafty counsel and tell what they want to do. Okay, Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves that see them shall flee away. Okay, and that's what the hopeful elect are doing. They're fleeing away. Right. So it says, Yuvonar Herrera says it's very uh, likely, okay, kind of the same thing. <clears throat> you know, the point is, is that, um, you know, this is all bread and circus that are set up, you know, but you see a lot of Jake saying, you know, vote for Trump and he's a good person and things like that. Okay. And this is nothing but a devil too, right? Because what is he telling you? He's just telling you things that you want to hear. Okay. Nice, smooth words. Again, play a little bit of this. We have millions and millions of people here. It is not sustainable. Did you see in New York City where they're getting the regular students out and they're putting migrants in their place? We are going to have the largest deportation effort in the history of... Yeah, and why are they doing that? Okay, because it's part of their method that Esau Edom uses, which is their Hegelian dialectic, which is pressure from below, pressure from above. Okay, people start to see these um, migrants in the city Okay, they start to be afraid. They start to call the police. But what do you have with the police force? There, a lot of people are retiring, even without their pension. They don't even want their pension. Okay, and, and particularly in New York City, and this is going to be throughout the four, you know, throughout Babylon. Okay, so there's not going to be, and plus, there's going to be chaos in where these people live, where these police officers live. Okay, so they're going to be protecting their own families. They're not going to be protecting Jake in the hood. They never did. They were just set up as everyday modern day taskmasters to watch over you. Okay, that's why they sign an oath. Okay, they sign an oath to, um, you know, to to have a code that if something happens that you got your brother's back as far as th these police force. Okay, they don't have your back. They're not your friend. Now, agree with that adversary quickly. We understand that, but also understand who they work for. They're not your they're not your friend either. Okay, because they have a they have a contract with the devil. Okay, and, and more than likely they're gonna they're gonna try to, they're gonna stay with that. Okay, of our country, we're bringing everybody back to where they came from. We have no choice. Uh, can you do something about the sanctuary cities? Yeah. Well, they're going to be ended because the Democrats are going to end them because you can't sustain it. If you look at New York, you have a mayor of New York who now is really hostile to the administration because New York City, that's my place. I love New York. It's gone. It's had a tough time. See, and what is New York City? New York City is basically the Mecca of the whole world. OK, and when that falls, what happens? That, that's ba that's Babylon's, you know, golden goose, the beacon of the light. Okay, that that shows you that it's toppling. Okay, and these people are looking for for devils for help. Okay, and what's let me see, let me read this. It says one other follower said, "I haven't seen anything in the WEF, the UN, which leads to more freedom for Americans. Just the opposite. I can't see how anybody can support the NWO and risk losing personal freedoms for it. Yeah, and that what's what's happening is sedition is gonna is gonna begin, if it hasn't already begun. Okay." Let me get that real quick. This is a uh, Psalms. There's like a second Ezra. Second Ezra 15. And 15. It says for the sword and the destruct. Wait. Yeah, I'll read that too. Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe means destruction. For the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Okay? So they're not gonna they're not gonna um reference their kings or their princes or their presidents or their prime ministers or their governors. Okay, people were going to get into revolt. Okay, that's what that whole January 6th thing was about, was to, to have the, you know, people join in these different groups. So, so Esau Edom can be able to, in the Greek, categorize, which goes into the English word accuser, uh, categorize um, people and put in these different categories. That's why they'll call us uh, black Hebrew Israelites. When we're not black, black means void of light. We're Hebrew Israelites. Okay. 
but they paint that picture because that's seen as a uh, that's that's a negative term okay that's a negative connotation when they say that that's why they say it because they want to paint that is you're, you're extremists you're radicalists when we're just reading the bible our weapons of warfare are not carnal okay those that are being carnal are going to found out that those are not the men of the lord okay and a sedition is a revolt against the government and people are going to fight um what, what do you have here you have people that are very carnal okay so we get a couple of scriptures this is um but the lord's going to what protect the widow okay and who is the widow the widow is what the very elect we're waiting on our our husbandmen okay which is our lord you have shy this is a uh, proverbs 15 and 25 the lord yahweh will destroy the house of the proud yeah the lord's going to destroy the house of the proud which is what esau edom but he will establish the border of the widow yeah the the border goes into the protection okay that we have which is this knowledge wisdom understanding the thoughts of the wicked are abomination to yahweh but the words of the pure are pleasant words so those 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 are speaking pleasant words are what peer to the Lord and the Lord what here's the here's the message. OK, meaning that um, Lord willing, we're able to be saved in the time of great trouble. He that is greedy of gaining trouble in his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. OK, so again, those gifts, you're going to have people that are taking what 501c3 or, you know, 501c3 uh, contract. That's one part. But also you're going to have where people are going to sell out their own people for what money. OK incentives that's why it speaks about a man's foe shall be of his own household okay it says the heart of the righteous study to answer but the mouth of the wicked pour out evil things and that's what they're doing they're pouring out what evil things okay and those people that are evil okay are going to follow those ways okay but those people are de are de departing from evil like we're supposed to do okay are going to be able to be saved they're going to have that um that border that border protecting them Okay, it says the Lord Yahweh is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous, right? So he hears our prayers. Okay, he hears our, our, our you know, our motion or, you know, far as what we're saying. Okay, and he gives us the words to be able to speak. It's not of our own words. Okay. It says Proverbs 15 and 30, the light of the eyes rejoice the heart and the good report make it the bones fat. Yeah, so the eyes going into the vision, you're able to see your heart going into your mind. The good report is just what our Lord Yahweh Shai is coming back to save us, but we have to go through suffering. Okay, and it makes you what fat far as, you know, um, you're good. You know, you got your food, you got everything you need. You're in good, good uh, shape, good health. It says 31, the ear that heareth the reproof of the life abide among the wise. Yeah, the wise are the ones that are able to see because you're able to hear the message that's coming out of the prophet's mouth, which means that you're able to have life because Yahweh Shai is the life. Okay. He that refuseth instruction despises his own soul, but he that heareth the reproof get understanding. Okay. And get understanding. You might hear the, 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 uh, the scriptures, but does that mean that you got the understanding? Okay, only the elect are going to be able to understand. It says, the fear of Yahweh by Hashem and Rashai is the instruction of the wisdom before honor and humility. Okay? And what's happening is the Lord is what, um, you know, has given us the instruction to be able to not follow these devils and also to be able to have hope. Um, and we know that our, this, this devil is going to be put down. Okay? Psalms 33 and 9. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and stood, it stood fast. The Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh bringeth the counsel of the heathen to not. He maketh the device of the people of none effect. The counsel of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall stand forever. The thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose power is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and the people whom he had chosen for his inheritance. Okay, and who is that? That's the um, the Israelites. But of the Israelites, there's actually an elect that are going to be able to be saved. Okay, blessed going into the one that actually what get the understanding. Okay. So this is um, and I read it right here, and I end it. This is Psalms two and one. It says, "Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing?" So the heathen raging is what Esau, Edom, and, and these different heathen nations, okay, consulting together. What they're raging by causing commotion, you know, conspiring together, okay, um, you know, causing these different, um, you know, psyops, okay, and the people. That's our own people. They imagine a vain thing. They're part, they, they're part of it too. The LeBron James, the Jay-Z's, that vain thing is what the New World Order, okay? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh Bashem Rashai, against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their courts from us. And that's what they want to do, okay? And how are they doing that? Through GMO foods, you know, through uh, the, the, the false doctrines, 
Okay, and these kings are meeting one one on another because ultimately what they're gonna do is they're gonna have these certain black swan events. Okay, and they want to what um not not have us, you know, um not have us have that relationship with our Lord. Okay, but there's no separating us from Yahaba Shem Shai. Okay, if we're of the elect. This is Psalms two and four. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh, the Lord Yahweh Shai shall have him in derision. Yeah, they're gonna be in derision. Okay. Meaning that they're gonna be uh, you know, not able to accomplish their plan. This is Psalms 37 and 7. Rest in Yahweh Shema Shai and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prosper in his way, because of man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. So they have to bring this to pass. Everything has to be fulfilled. Okay? Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off, but the, those that wait on Yahweh Shema Shai shall inherit the earth. And that's what we're waiting on as to what to inherit the earth. Waiting on our Lord Yahweh Shai and Adam and Ratazah were of that number. Okay? So with that, call Yahweh Shai, Shalom to the left, Kwame Yashallah.